guys, so today's video is going to be a tag video that I was tagged to do by my friend Tati or Glam Life Guru on YouTube ages ago and I haven't got around to doing it. It is the princess tag, which I had no idea what this was when Tati tagged me in it and I thought it was going to be something really different but it's basically like a your favourite high-end beauty products video which I thought would be really fun especially as my last video was centred around affordable makeup. This is kind of a fun tag. It's like your dream makeup bag so what high-end products would you use all day every day if you had the chance so like your favorite high-end product in each category so i thought it'd be a fun one to do especially considering my last video was centered more around affordable makeup so without further ado i have a list here of the products that i'm going to talk about and i have them all in a little makeup bag and i'm going to get started this isn't going to come as a surprise to many of you if you've watched my channel for a while because I've loved this foundation for a long time, it's Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I'm wearing it today, I stray to other foundations and I do love, I have probably like five or six high-end foundations that I love, Shh. Um, that are amazing, but for some reason I come back to this one time and time again, it's just so freaking good! I don't know what it is, it just, every time I use it, it just makes my skin look absolutely amazing and I just think it's wonderful, so if you're going to invest in a princess product, this would probably be my number one. To be honest for me, I was kind of pushed to choose this because my concealers that I use on an everyday basis are all high street, drugstore, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the only like high-end concealer that I've been using recently is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. So I've included this as my princess concealer, but I actually don't like this that much more than my other concealers. I do really like this and I have been using it, but for concealers, I think there are some really good ones on the high street. Um, there is another concealer that I actually really, really want to try, which is the Shiseido one, because I love their foundations. Um, so that's kind of next on my hit list for, like, princess products. Um, but yeah, this is really good and really, really high coverage. This one's easy because I don't actually have a lot of powders at all. I think I probably have two. Um, and the one that I use most is my Giorgio Armani what is this called, Microfill Loose Powder, and this is just really gorgeous, it comes in this beautiful pot. Like I said before, I'm not a huge powder kind of junkie, so um, I don't, I haven't tried a lot of powders, I know the Chanel one is meant to be really lovely as well, but this is the nicest one that I've used from Giorgio Armani. That's got to be my Laguna by NARS. As you can see, this is well loved. Um, this is probably like one of my all time favorite bronzers. However, I kind of like stopped using it because I have a lot of kind of high street bronzers that I need to use up as well. And I kind of like save this um, for special occasions, which doesn't even really make sense. But I resisted buying this for a long time because it's expensive. And again, with bronzers, like I've got a lot of high street ones that are really good. So I was kind of like, well, do I really need it? It is amazing. It is really, really good. I feel like blush is hard to choose because um, I kind of chop and change what I like, but one that I've been using a lot recently is my Dior Healthy Glow one. I'm wearing this today, actually. It is really, really, really bright pink. It looks kind of scary, but it's actually super nice and flattering on the skin. Again, gorgeous packaging. Dior products are total princess products. My Dior Amber Diamonds, look at these, the packaging is just so lovely. Um, Amber Diamonds is a really, really beautiful highlighter as well. This I got on recommendation from my friend Tanya. My one is actually broken. Um, the little pin in the back, the back is smashed a little bit, but it still works. It just isn't perfect anymore, I don't know how that happened. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this, really flattering, um, and yes, I would use it all the time. If I was only picking like certain products, that would be one of my favourites. This is such an easy choice because this is one of my most recent purchases and I'm so addicted to it and it's such a princess palette. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs The Lolita palette. They're so expensive but the packaging is just to die for and the palette is gorgeous, the pigmentation is amazing, they blend really well. I've used like every single colour in here a lot. I've been using this palette pretty much every day since I got it and I love it. Total princess product but I absolutely adore it. Um, and it's just so sleek in your makeup bag. I love this a lot. For eyeliner, I've chosen my NARS Larger Than Life eyeliner. Again, to be honest, eyeliner is something that I think you can buy um, equally as good products on the high street. 
This is very, very similar to the Rimmel, what's it called, Scandalize eyeliner. Um, so I'm not such a princess when it comes to eyeliner, I've got to say. But yeah, if I was going to splash out on an eyeliner, I would get this one. For mascara, I've chosen my all-time favourite YSL. Now, this is actually the shocking version, which I do love as well. The YSL Effect for Seal, for me, is like such a princess mascara. I only ever really buy it if I have something special. Like, I bought it for, I bought the waterproof version for my wedding, or if I'm going, like, on holiday, on a special holiday, I'll get the waterproof version. Um, but normally, this is, like, really dried up and needs throwing away, but I just keep it because I love it so much. So amazing. And the packaging as well is like so luxe, it's such a good like product for the princess tag I think. This one is a no brainer for me, it's my Chanel Rouge Allure in Exalti which is a gorgeous fuchsia colour. I love fuchsia lips as you guys might know in my videos, I'm either wearing like nude, red or fuchsia. Um, I'm really not very good with orange tones, I'm much better with kind of blue tones, I prefer them. And Exalti is a really, really beautiful fuchsia colour. I love the Rouge Allure's because the formulation is really nice. They're moisturising but really pigmented. And the packaging is just really luxurious as well with the little click. I absolutely love these. Um, and I have too many Chanel lipsticks. Shh. That's a real princess confession for you. This is actually kind of halfway in between a lip gloss and a lipstick, but this is like a new obsession for me. This is what I'm wearing today with a little bit of gloss over the top. This is from Ellis Fast. I actually bought this when I was shopping with my friend Amelia from Amelia Liana on YouTube or her blog. If you don't read her blog, it's amazing. I need to watch her on YouTube too because she's cool. Um, so this is a new purchase actually this week, but I absolutely love it. The formula is gorgeous and the packaging is just so outrageous it's like a giant bullet um, and it is just awesome and you can actually buy the containers to put these in and they fit into this like giant canister um, which I didn't buy I just bought this one product but I'm definitely going to be trying more products from the Ellis Fast line because I was really really impressed by this so for brow products, it's more of a treatment for me. I get HD brows done um, once every like six weeks. And for me, that has just really helped me kind of keep control of my brows. And it is, like I've never been a person who's had like their hair done every week or their nails done every month or something like that. I just, it's not something I've ever done before. I've always just done it myself. So that is a real kind of princess thing for me. I've actually got two things for this. The first one, are my Hakuhodo makeup brushes because these are just freaking amazing. As you can tell, they're really dirty. I use these pretty much every day. Um, if they're dirty, I will clean them instead of using my other clean brushes just because they are so much better than any other brushes I own. I own seven of them. I have collected them over a couple of years because they are really expensive. The most expensive one, I believe, was about $60 which is this bronzing one and then they go down to about 15 or 16 for like little detail ones like this so expensive and definitely princess brushes but they are wonderful and they've lasted and lasted as well I love these brushes and then I also have chosen to include this candle which is my nest Moroccan amber candle this is actually the giant three wick one um, so kind of an indulgent thing to buy for yourself I think this was about $58. Um, I bought it when I was in New York. I love the smell of this candle so much. It's so warming and it's not, the thing that I really like about this as well is it's not specifically a Christmas candle. It doesn't really smell like Christmas um, as such so you can burn it all year round but it's just a really lovely warm scent and mine is almost finished and I'll be sad because you can't actually buy these easily in the UK so I'll be sad when this is finished. Um, but yes, that is like my favourite kind of special treat candle. I don't have anything in my collection currently that I would say is like a princess nail polish, like my must have like expensive like treat nail polish. There is something that I have used before, um, which is the Dior Top Coat, which I think is amazing. I got given it as a gift and I used it all up. Now I wish I still had it because it really is 
wonderful. Um, so yeah, the Dior top coat would be my kind of princess nail product, but I don't currently own it. And that is it for the princess tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to tag a few people in the info box below, but if you make videos on YouTube and you would like to do this video, then I tag you as well. And if you don't make videos, then let me know in the comment section below what your princess product would be, even if it's just one thing. Or if you want to list all of them, then feel free. Um, and yeah, I will see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye. So today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video, which is another of my top 10 under 10 series. Now, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, it's basically where